Hey everybody, I'm just hopping on really quickly because I just made a live video on Facebook that I really want people to watch. I think it's a, a powerful commentary on why we gossip and judge and criticize and the four, way, the four reasons why we do because it's not our fault. I want to say that right out. I'm not judging anybody for doing it because it's not our fault that we do it and the four ways that we can heal that painful pattern. I'm Helen Hillix. I am an experienced and powerful intuitive counselor and spiritual coach, and I want to offer everything I have to you from my heart to yours, and I want you to watch that video. So just look me up, Helen Hillix, on Facebook or Instagram. I also have a story on Instagram under Helen Hillix, H-I-L-L-I-X. So look it up and see what I have to say. I think you'll resonate with it. And if you, hey Morgan, it's so nice to see you. Um, it, watch it and please comment and send me questions. And um, you know, I'll just I'll just give you a little preview right now, which is the the four reasons that we gossip, criticize, and judge are that we do not love ourselves, that we feel unworthy that we're constantly comparing and competing. Hey, Marlene, nice to see you too. We constantly are comparing and competing because we're taught to do that. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit more about that and the other reasons why we do it, but I really believe that it's not our fault because we all lack self-love. We don't value ourselves. We think we're unworthy. You know, our boobs aren't big enough. We're too dark-skinned. We're too pale. We're too tall. We're too short. We're too thin. We're too fat. We're too poor. We're too uneducated. We're overeducated. We're too insecure. I mean, whatever it is, we, we are taught that there's something wrong with us instead of that we are all part of one family of humanity. We are all taught that there's something wrong with us that we have to compensate for in some way. And that is the really core reason that we ever gossip or judge or criticize is because we're made to feel like we are not enough, that we're not good enough. So the second reason is that we're alone. We feel alone and our society is very disconnected and we often gossip and tell secrets. And this, the research has shown this, that telling secrets and gossiping is one of people's favorite ways oh. of uh, developing some kind of bond. We're just desperate to bond. And so we've learned that is a, a way that we can bond. So as sad as it is, you know, that's one of the second reason. And again, like I said, it's not our fault. We're just looking for love. We're looking to bond. We're looking to connect. And the third reason is that our family, maybe we grew up in a family that felt bad about itself. We might have been immigrants or, again, we might have been poor or uneducated or, or we might have been taught that we, you know, we're white supremacists and, you know, we're, you know, but, but really even that is a way of, uh, they're scared. White supremacists are scared that other people are going to take over their jobs or whatever it is. So it's all out of fear, that, that family fear that makes us judge and criticize others as a way of bonding and feeling safe in the world. So again, it's not our fault. It's something that we probably learned in our childhoods from our families. And the fourth reason is that our entire society is that way. Our entire society is based on competition and greed and who is going to have what and which body part has to be the biggest to, whether you're male or female, you know, to attract the other sex or who's got the most money or the best car or the best job or the nicest house, it, you know, or the designer dog. You know, it's just crazy, absolutely crazy what our society tells us is important. No wonder we don't think we're, you know, enough. We don't have a society that makes us feel equal and equally loved and safe. So those are the four reasons that we do gossip, judge, compete, compare, and criticize ourselves and others. And what can we do about it? What can we do about it? Um, you know, I want to stop and say, if you're watching this on the replay, please let me know where you're from. Hey, Lisa, nice for you to join us again. I know you're from, I think it's Arizona. So um, we're talking about why we judge, compare, compete, criticize, and it's all from a lack of self-love and feeling alone and that it's not our fault. We were taught that way. 
and what can we do about it, you know, and what are the four ways, the four things that we can do in order to heal that painful process. Number one is that we get to learn to love ourselves. We get to. And it, this is not an easy thing because we are, as I was saying before, we're going against all of the training from all these years uh, from our society, from our families feeling inadequate. And so it, it might not be easy, but it is worth it. And there are lots of places and ways that you can go. My tribe is the innerrevolution.org, has incredible workshops. And, you know, I've also, uh, another tribe of mine, Ascension Leadership Academy, offers workshops that are very powerful. There are places, and I offer intuitive counseling. And, you know, we can all help heal whatever blocks you from from feeling self-love but first you have to come out of denial and stop avoiding the reality because our society also teaches us to cover that up cover it up cover it up with makeup with uh hi diane welcome uh we're talking about why we gossip and criticize and judge ourselves and others you know our society tells us to cover up those feelings of lack of self-love cover them up cover them up cover them up make ourselves look beautiful on the surface you know get more money you know whatever it is cover it up it'll make you feel better drink that wine you know go on that big vacation whatever the society says will make you feel better about yourself but of course it never does all those superficial things never make us feel better about ourselves. We have to actually develop self-love. Hey, Cassie, welcome. We're talking about why we gossip and criticize. And thank you for the love. My, my motto is from my heart to yours. And I love those hearts. Love, love, love those hearts. Hey, Cynthia, welcome. We're talking about why we gossip, why we judge, why we criticize. And we've already talked about the four reasons why we do it and that, we, that it's not our fault. It is not our fault. We are taught this, and we're talking about the four ways that we can heal those painful patterns. And the first one is to overcome our own denial and avoidance and take on the issue of self-love. And there are some, some what seem to be superficial ways of coping with it, you know, that, won't, that aren't the answer, but they can help to put up a sticker that says, I love you, Helen, I, you are worthy. You are worthy of love. Hey, Michael, welcome. We're talking about how to heal gossip and judgment and criticism. And it starts out with self-love. And so those things help. Those affirmations help. But we also need support, you know, in, in uprooting the, the deeply held beliefs that we're not enough because of our skin color, because of our you know, financial status, because of our immigration status, because of our education, all those things. And, you know, are, you know, because we were molested as a child, you know, whatever, we've all experienced traumas that, that get to be healed. They get to be. And there are many, many ways of, of offering that, that, um, that healing. I just got a notice that distracted me. I'm a very distractible person. I'm sorry. I'm back. I am totally back. Um, so we get to heal that in all the different ways, whether it's at the innerrevolution.org or it's at ALA or it's in intuitive counseling with me or wherever you go. There are lots of ways to get to have more and more and more self-love. And the second way that we can heal those, those painful patterns of gossiping and all of that are, um, building a tribe. We've got to have a tribe. We cannot do anything alone. Human beings are not meant to be alone. So build a tribe, you know, go to your local church, you know, join the innerrevolution.org, become part of the ALA tribe, you know, help your family, you know, be closer, you know, maybe they're your tribe, you know, we all need tribe. That's the second one. So you don't feel alone. And the third one is to stand up for what you believe in with your family and in your tribe. If you see people at work who are in, in painful patterns, you know, you know they're drinking too much or they're, they're obsessed with the way they look or they're gossiping and judging, you know, other people, stand up and say, you know, I notice something painful, you know, and I want to talk to you about it. Love them enough to do that. Love them enough to say, you know, I think we can do better together. And the fourth um, way of healing this painful pattern of gossiping, competing, and comparing, and judging is revolutionize our society. 
and I know that sounds like a tall order, revolutionize our society, but if we do it together, we can change society. We don't have to get boob jobs. You know, one of the things I love about my husband is he said, please never get a face lift. Never do that mutilation to your body, you know, for my sake. I think you're beautiful with all your wrinkles and I love that. And I want you all to have that kind of love and to spread that kind of love, to lift each other up. Instead of having a society that competes and compares and says you have to be this way or that way and you have to have this big body part or the man has to have that big body part or whatever it is, you know, let's join together to lift each other up, to share the love we have, to share the gifts we have. When we're busy giving away our gifts that God has given us, we're not thinking about whether we are comparing to this person or that person. We're just giving what we have and we're happy about it because we know we're making a difference in the world and that revolutionizes our society. So let's join together and make this world a better place and we won't even be thinking about gossiping and judging and criticizing ourselves or anybody else because we'll be too busy spreading the love from our hearts to their hearts, from my heart to yours. You know, again, I'm Helen Hillix. I'm an intuitive counselor and spiritual coach, and I would love to work with you if I can help you. And if not, I love just spreading all this love and spreading the guidance that I have received in my life. And I want us all to stop our painful patterns, feel worthy, and co-create a world that we all want to live in. Mwah. I love you, and I will see you soon.